Okay, so what's up guys, how's it going? Welcome back to our brand new Sunny Vegas tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do a really awesome effect where you can sort of do a spin transition. So what you want to do is you want to drag in your clip first of all. We don't need any of that audio so we're going to go ahead and delete it. Now we want to first of all find a part where we want to do a spin transition to. So if we come, let's, uh, let's do it while I'm in mid air here. So we'll take that bit and we'll take that bit. We'll delete the first bit, come over, I keep saying we a lot and I do in a lot of my videos, uh, I don't know why, but uh, fuck it, I didn't really give a fuck. So actually, we will just see, there I go again, we'll just make that a little bit shorter. And let's go over here and just find another, another jump bit and then we'll transition it to there. So you, you sort of got to pick and choose where you want the transition to uh, to go. So I'm just going to delete that. I'm going to drag that over here onto the layer above and then I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I'm going to count backwards, uh, let's say 20 frames. So if we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we just fade that out to there. And if we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, about 5 frames in, bring this clip in and go one, two, three, four, five. So the fade on both of these clips is 20, but there's a slight overlap. So if I uh, play that, it's uh, a slight fade, if you know what I mean. So if we go to transitions and we will just have to go down to third party here. And what we are looking for is uh, not in here. Is it in transitions? What the fuck? Pretty sure it is. Bum, bum. I can't for the life of me remember where it is. Let me just have a quick look through the actual effects through here. So it is a um, a sapphire effect. So you will need um, sapphire to uh, use this effect. Uh, I will leave a link in the description where you can get that effect. It's called something vortex spin. Something? What? What am I fucking doing? Um, uh, I'll be right back when I've found it. Okay, and I am back now as an idiot because it was in the first place that I found it all along. So it is right here, it's called uh, S Dissolve Vortex. If we just drag that onto the little faded part here. Now I'm just going to hit load preset. You wouldn't have this preset, but I'll show you my settings and then you can copy it and make your own preset. So I'll click on that one, hit load. Now you need to copy all of these settings here and then it'll be the same as mine and then hit the X on that and you want to drag it onto the second fade out as well load the same preset let's give it a second here spin there we go now this is what we have got so far so I just play that that is extremely fucking laggy maybe if I turn the uh, shit down a bit Okay, you can't really see it, but uh, we will sort it out in a bit so you uh, so you can see it when we play the full clip. Now, uh, just for simplicity sakes, I'm just going to put a marker here and make these two clips the same size. Uh, and there we go, so now we've got that and that. Now there are like little tricks, this is pretty much the effect at the moment, but if you want to add a few little tricks into it, you can uh, you can do that. So if we just go on to this one here, and we go to Sony, and go to Brightness and Contrast, hit Add. If we set this to around, uh, what's it, 600, 600 or so, that seems good. We don't want to go too high. And make sure to animate this. So if we come to about here, then if we just set that to uh, zero, and now if you see it's going to be a little bit brighter if I have the effects undone. You see it's, if it's brighter now, so and then it it will fade out. So if we just fade that in fade that out you don't have to do this basically all you need is everything in between these two lines for the effect 
You can do other things to make it look better. You can throw some black bars, color correction, all that fucking jazz to make it look awesome. But I'm just going to show you what it looks like now, and then I'll show you a full little, little clip. So if we just watch this. So as you can see it looks pretty fucking awesome, it looks more so like teleporting, which I think is a really cool fucking effect. Now if we just mute these tracks, scroll up here, as usual I have got some music here. This is the muffled music, this is the unmuffled music, this is the clip synced using velocity. Uh, more velocity shit. This is a little overlay uh, where I put the clip in twice. These are some white flashes and a black fade out and black bars and I put colour correction on the top of all of this. So let's just give this a quick watch and then I'll show you what it's like. As you can see, it's pretty fucking awesome. It's a really nice effect, and if it's done well, it, you can pull it off. You can put this shit in anything, as long as it's done well. Now, I've done this typically down here at 20 frames. That fade out doesn't have to be 20 frames. It can be any fucking length you want. As long as you think it suits the music and suits the beat, this is more of a quick fade in for like a single beat track. If you've got a long, if the beats are spaced apart and there's like a melody in the background, match it to the melody where the beat starts and drag it out so it looks sick as fuck. Now that's pretty much it for the video. Now I know it's been sort of a long video for short effect. Uh, fucking what was that? It's been sort of a long video for a short effect, but I've tried to get across as many tips and tricks as I can in this episode, but that's about it for the video guys. Thank you guys so much for fucking watching and I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace.